students, welcome to SED Chapel again. Good to see you all. Now let's do a quick review. Yesterday, our task was to find out our gifts and talents. And on page 9 of the booklet, we wrote down at least two talents or two things that we're good at doing. And today, we are going to learn how we can make good use of our gifts to serve others. If you think God gave you the gifts so you can keep them to yourself, that would be totally wrong, totally wrong, totally wrong. Indeed, the Bible commands us that each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. So you should your gifts and talents faithfully. So instead of keeping the gifts to ourselves, we should use them and use them whenever we can to serve other people. Now, in the Bible, I know of a person who generously uses gifts and talents to serve and help other people. Now, I know many of you would think Jesus is the answer, but no, today we're not going to talk about Jesus yet. Well, actually, it's a person from the Old Testament. Joseph! Joseph was a dreamer when he was still a young boy, and he had all these weird dreams without knowing their meanings. Later in his life, when he was a slave at Potiphar's house, Potiphar wronged him and put him in jail. He met two prisoners there the chief butler and the chief baker of the king of Egypt. Now, one night, both of them had a dream. Now, with God's wisdom, Joseph had the gift of explaining dreams. He was able to explain the meaning of their dreams. Whatever Joseph said, it actually came true after three days. So the chief butler got to serve before the king again. Two years later, Pharaoh had a dream and no one could tell the meaning. The chief butler remembered Joseph and he recommended him to Pharaoh. With God-given talents in him, Joseph was able to explain Pharaoh's dream and also gave important advices to Pharaoh. Pharaoh made Joseph in charge of the food bank project and they saved plenty of food during the seven good years. So later, when there was a great famine in Egypt and all the other land, Egypt was the only place where food was in excess. Now, imagine this. What if Joseph chose not to use God's gift to explain the chief butler's dream? And what might have happened if Joseph kept the talent to himself by not explaining Pharaoh's dream? case, the people of the Egypt and in all other land would have suffered greatly from the famine. Many people, including Joseph's family and even Joseph himself, could have died from the famine. So therefore, never look down on your talents or gifts. If you use the gifts to serve or help others, who knows, you may save the world just like what Joseph had done. Now, by explaining Pharaoh's dream, many lives were saved and spared. And in the same way, by doing a small act of kindness with your gifts, 
maybe you can make a difference in people's lives. So, how can you serve others with your gifts? Hmm. Be creative. And on page four, there are some useful tips and ways on how we can serve other people with our gifts. You may have better ideas. Why don't you write them down? Yes, and also remember one thing: put them in action. We're all gifted to give. Don't look down on ourselves. Don't hold back our talents. Use them. Use them to serve others and bring glory to Jesus. For the past two days, we have been talking about gifts, gifts, and gifts. With Easter coming just around the corner. Let's remember that Jesus is God's greatest gift to all of us. His salvation and resurrection ignites hope in us. So, are you going to keep Jesus to yourself, or shall we share this gift with others? Now, the choice is ours to make. Students, this is not the ending of SED. Indeed, it's only the beginning. The beginning to serve our community, and the beginning to transform our community. So, find your gifts and serve with our gifts. May the Lord bless you and keep you. <laughs>